Hello, I'm Linda Lowen, naturopath at the Highbury Natural Health Centre. Histamine related disorders have become a hot topic in recent years and a lot of information is popping up on the internet. I've put some information on my website and I encourage you to go there for the details. The story is complicated so I wanted to take a few minutes to simplify it for you. Histamine is a cell signalling molecule which we know for its role in inflammation. However, histamine is found all over the body and some of its actions are actually essential for life. There are two predominant histamine disorders. The first one, histamine intolerance, which is not a true food intolerance, but rather an accumulation of histamine in the body due to an excess of intake of histamine-rich foods, typically aged or fermented foods. Mast cell activation syndrome is the other one. Histamine is predominantly made by mast cells, a type of white blood cell, and in mast cell activation syndrome, mast cells are continuously on alert and manufacturing histamine beyond the capacity of your body to break it down. I first became aware of mast cell activation syndrome while listening to an interview with an American doctor discussing MTHFR mutations and diet. Briefly, an MTHFR mutation means a person has reduced capacity to form methyl groups and methyl groups are needed to make histamine methyl transferase, which is the enzyme that breaks down histamine. Later I found an article by Professor Lawrence Afrin published in 2013 where he discussed the signs and symptoms of mast cell activation syndrome and how to diagnose it. When I read this paper, I first thought, well, that describes just about everybody who walks into my door and I knew that when people came in to see me and did our biocompatibility test, their symptoms resolved within a few weeks. So I knew I was already on the right track. I see a lot of advice on treating mast cell activation syndrome, which is really only of benefit to those with histamine intolerance. Basically, people are told to avoid high histamine foods and take diamine oxidase tablets. Diamine oxidase is an enzyme that breaks down histamine from food in the gut and maybe take some other supplements. Mast cell activation syndrome begins in the gut with leaky gut, sometimes called hyperpermeability of the gut wall. And it is an immune activation from undigested food particles and chemicals in the food that stimulate an antibody response by the immune cells in the gut, which then stimulates the mast cells to produce histamine. This is the major source of histamine contributing to the symptoms, not the histamine that is consumed in the food. Treatment must begin with healing the leaky gut and avoiding the triggers. So what do I do differently? Firstly, I mentioned our biocompatibility test. This is not strictly an antibody test because it's done with a hair sample, not blood. However, I've seen patients use the information in this test and achieve improvements in symptoms in a few weeks many, many, many times over. So I recommend this test as a basis for treatment. The key really with following this plan is that we can move the body out of a pattern of chronic inflammation and into healing. This makes more sense to me than merely trying to control symptoms with moderate or sometimes poor success. I encourage you to look at my website. You'll find more information about histamine and more information about our biocompatibility test and you'll also find my contact details there. So just go to www.naturalfamilymedicine.com.au Thank you for listening.